From rumors suggesting Jesse Spencer and Kara Kilmer had a thing for each other, to Joe Minoso finding love on the set of Chicago Fire. Here's everything on Chicago Fire reveal who they're dating. Matthew Casey might be unlucky in love, but Jesse Spencer sure isn't. The Australian actor and musician joined the cast of NBC's First Responder series as the cold-hearted, no-nonsense lieutenant turned captain. There was a rule in Firehouse 51 about Matthew, and that's you never talk to the man in charge about his personal life. Makes sense, actually. Cassie's had quite a rough time growing up, what with a mother in prison convicted of killing his abusive father and all. So, yeah, it makes sense why the guy is as closed off as he is. Still, Kelly Sevride managed to break through his shell, and that's when Casey revealed his biggest secret. He had a crush on paramedic Gabriella Dawson. The two got together later on in the series and were married on the show's 100th episode, but the showrunners couldn't let the two live happily ever after. Especially since Monica Raymond announced she'd be moving on to other projects. What do you do when a recurring character leaves the show? You leave her on-screen husband picking up the pieces and tell viewers she moved to Puerto Rico. I'll admit, fans weren't too happy seeing Matthew's heart being broken in two. But it did pave the way for another romance. One that made a lot of sense to audiences. Probably because fans thought Jesse and Kara Kilmer's off-screen chemistry made their on-screen romance all the more realistic. Kara's Sylvia Brett became an immediate fan favorite on Chicago Fire. Fans loved her for her humor and her heart, and for the way she managed to break through Matthew's walls, which were now higher than ever. Because Gabriella had left him, the two characters started to date, and let me tell you, fans were over the moon. What's funny is that they started to bond over how much the two missed Gabriella, and eventually realized they made a pretty good pair too. But again, the showrunners just couldn't let Matthew win, and the pair broke up in season 11. That too over the phone! Ouch! But hey, that doesn't mean fans had to say goodbye to their off-screen romance too, right? Um, well, yes it did. Jesse Spencer used to be engaged to his house co-star Jennifer Morrison. The two actually met the day they landed at the airport to shoot the medical drama. Their relationship lasted for three years, with a beautiful engagement at the top of the Eiffel Tower to really make things all the more romantic, but eventually ended when the couple realized they were headed in different directions. Seeing him with Kara, fans thought Jesse was ready for round two of falling in love with a co-star, but Kara and Jesse confirmed they were just friends. This is a good thing, considering how his real girlfriend, Kaylee Woodruff Carr, probably wasn't taking too kindly to all the dating rumors. That's right, Jesse's married in real life to the uber-talented neurologist and sometimes musician Kaylee. Hey, no love lost on Kara's side either, since she was in a relationship with actor Andrew Cheney too, while all the relationship drama was going on. That's right. While Jesse and Kara might have made a cute couple on screen, they kept things strictly professional off screen. Kara's actually been married to her co star from Beyond the Mask, Andrew, since 2016. There was an instant connection between the two, and they decided to get married after just one year of dating. Now, onto Chicago Fire's resident heartthrob and his messy relationship history. Kelly Severide is the glue that holds Firehouse 51 together. He's there for everyone whenever they need him, and he's always willing to go the extra mile for everyone he cares about. Sure, he gets burned, sometimes literally, but that's never stopped Kelly from always stepping up. The actor might be known for his role in Chicago Fire, but he was a familiar face off the set of The Vampire Diaries and Shameless 2. Off screen though, Taylor is probably best remembered as pop sensation Lady Gaga's longtime beau. The two were rumored to have gotten close while filming the music video for You and I, but they kept quiet about dating rumors for a while. That is until Lady Gaga gushed about Taylor on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, where she called the Chicago Fire star her literal soulmate. She also claimed that this was the happiest she'd felt in a long, long time. 
And that radiance really showed off on the red carpet when Taylor and Gaga made their first public appearance as a couple at the Golden Globes in 2014. By 2015, the actor realized he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her and proposed with the most beautiful, custom-made, heart-shaped ring. But like most high-profile Hollywood relationships, theirs couldn't stand the test of time either. And in 2016, Lady Gaga announced that the couple had officially split. It came out of nowhere. But the music icon went on the Howard Stern Show to reveal that their scheduling conflicts just got the better of them. Plus, they'd been fighting a lot in the months leading up to the breakup. Since then, Taylor's made sure the only time he makes a relationship public is when he makes it down the aisle. I don't know about you, but I could really use a pick-me-up right about now. Which is why Charlie Barnett's love story is just the thing you need. Peter Mills is Sev Ride's ride or die on Chicago Fire. He's the sort of guy who thinks with his heart first and lets his emotions get the better of him. Does this make for good action sequences on the show? Sure does, but does this also mean he finds it hard to see through a relationship? Unfortunately, also, yes. After being burned one too many times, pun slightly intended, Peter eventually decides the up and happening life of a first respondent isn't for him and moves back home to run a restaurant with his mom and sister. Throughout his time on the show, his only real love interest was Gabriella Dawson, but the two broke up when she couldn't discredit her feelings for Cassie anymore. No love was lost on Charlie's account, because the guy realized he was gay when he was 13 years old. The actor went on to star in Netflix's Russian Doll after leaving the set of Chicago Fire. This is where he met his fiance, set designer Drew Bender. Talking to page six, Charlie said that he couldn't be happier. He and Drew bonded over their shared love of the nice and quiet that Western America had to offer and planned on relocating from Hollywood once they officially tied the knot. I can't wait to see pictures of their bohemian-themed wedding. All these young actors in love can really take a page out of Iman Walker's love story. Deputy District Chief with the Chicago Fire Department and residential dad for everyone on the set of Chicago Fire, Wallace Bowden has a successful love life on screen and off. On screen, he's been living happily with his wife Donna since season two, and off screen, he's been living in matrimonial bliss with his real wife Shonda Walker for three decades. That's right. The 61-year-old English actor has been married to his soulmate for longer than some of the newer Chicago Firecast mates have been alive. Not much is known about Shonda since the pair are extremely, extremely private about their home life. But a little digging did help me uncover that she's a novelist writing under a pen name and that the couple shares three kids together. But that's about all the information out there for the public to know about, which really makes you think, Maybe the secret to a three-decade-long marriage in Hollywood is to keep your relationship as private as you can. Now let's talk about someone who found their soulmate on the set of Chicago Fire. I'm talking about Joe Minozo, of course. He plays the smooth-talking Joe Cruz on the show, and believe me, he's just as charismatic offset too. Cruz's relationship history on the show has been unique, if I'm being honest. He went from wanting to marry Otis's cousin Molly to get her a green card, to dating Sylvia after they bonded over their shared and secret love of Zumba. Things eventually came full circle for the firefighter when he met his wife, Chloe Cruz. The two met during a fire where you could say Chloe was the lucky victim. She made it through unscathed and met Cruz in the process. Still, their relationship wasn't all smooth sailing, and Chloe had to do a lot of soul searching before she eventually decided to settle down with a firefighter. Now, as much as everyone loves Minoso and Kristen Gutowski's on screen romance, the guy's happily married to someone else from the set of Chicago Fire in real life. That's right, Minoso tied the knot with makeup artist Caitlin Murphy Miles in 2016. So, from Joe Minoso finding love on the set of Chicago Fire to rumors, suggesting Jesse Spencer and Kara Kilmer had a thing for each other. That was everything on Chicago Fire revealing who they're dating.